hello everyone and welcome back at mastercam tutorials and tool paths we are coming back after a long long time and in this video you will learn about that how you can create mastercam multi access tool path for the long cow so in this video you will learn everything about the long cow how you can create a tool path for the long cow what kind kind of parts you can create with the help of long cow also you will learn about that how you can create a specific custom tool like as lollipop tool so in this so let we start this video with the first with the 2d simulation and after that we will see that how we can create that kind of part tool path with the help of 3d simulation and after that we will learn about all the parameters of this tool path and what are the parameters that need to create a long curve tool path so first let me came to a chair in a back plot of this one tool path so first this is my part and in this part i am creating tool path for this one particular area and this is something like as undercut area so that's why we are using lollipop tool for this tool path for cutting this one so we are cutting this portion with the help of along curve tool path so this is my 2d simulation let me show you that how tool will be working at here tool is entering from this one portion it is start to cut from here and it's step by step it's going inside without any collision so as you can see here this is my tool is entering the inside of my work piece in a very deep and it's cut till the this one bottom portion without any collision so this is the 2d simulation now we came to the 3d simulation that how my tool will be working on a 3d part and with a machine so this is the 3d simulation i already set up this 3d simulation at here and now i just show you that how you can how my tool will be working with on a machine and the workpiece so this is the 3d simulation this is my workpiece which is mounting on a uh, hmc machine and at my hmc machine is available with the tilting head so it can easily tilting with the ref respect to the y axis and now this is the tool path that how it will be cutting on a particular proper machine setup so as you can see my lollipop tool path is performing properly and step by step it's cut very well so along curve lollipop tool path generally we are using to cut this kind of undercut area a uh, lollipop tool can easily enter in the under, uh, these undercut portions and it can be easily cut without any collision so now we have to came on the main point that how we can create this tool path without any error, error. and if when we are creating this tool path what will the parameters we need what are the details we need to input so we will discuss everything in this video so keep available and watching this video till the end of the minute so i just delete everything i just click delete all operations and okay so now my tool path is came to the uh, at the first point now i came to the level and just click on tp geometry tp means tool path geometry this is the curve portion which is i already created so third uh, for creating these curve areas this is also a trick i will create a specific different video for this one that how you can create the curve for that one these for creating the multi axis tool path so now i just show you that how you can create the tool path for that one particular part so i have to came on the multi axis tool path and the tool path which i am choosing that is called along curve when i just click on along curve tool path the first step that we have to select our tool which one we have to create it to so i just create right click i just go for create a tool and i have to use a lollipop mill so i just click double click on a lollipop tool so for the creating a lollipop tool we have to fill the diameter so as per the work piece my work tool diameter is 12 overall length is 200 uh, cutting length is 13 mm and the next one is solder length is 75 okay solder diameter that we have to make 8 mm so now as you can see here my lollipop tool is looking like properly as we need now i just say finish 
so this is my lollipop tool I just create for the specific for the lollip uh, along curve toolpath you can also take your all the parameters as per the tool you have now we have to came on the cutting parameter at the cutting parameter you have to define the multiple things the first thing is uh, at the cutting parameter you have to define the cut parameter as here in the cut parameter we have to define first the lead lead means uh, a curve that helps my tool to guidance so this is my lead we are creating this lead before so this lead will be help to guide my tool path that is this is starting from this to the end portion at the next step we have to defining the machining geometry where is the machining geometry now I just click on this machining geometry and just click this one this one this one and this one so we have to cutting till the last portion so I just make this is visualization and select the remaining surfaces like this one this one this one this one that is also I have to select I have to select this one I have to select this one now I check from this one direction I hope as you can see my all surfaces are now selected uh, it's looking like that my one surface is missing to be select in the selection so let me select it with the help of zoom okay so now as you can see here it uh, my all surfaces are looking like that or are selected at here and now I just say end selection after the end selection if you want that my stock to be leave at the portion of the geometries where we are selected so we can defining this one I will uh, teach we will discuss about all these parameters separately in the next step now I just for creating a long curve toolpath we have to create define the lead we have to defining the machining geometry the area where our tool have to be performed in the next step we have to came on the tool axis control at here tool axis control we have to learn about that where how my tool will be going to be controlled so for creating this one tool path I just controlling with the help of from chain it means there is a upper portion my chain is available and I will control with the help of this chain so I just select ok and this is my chain I just say ok and this now at here how my curve tool to curve tilt type it means I just say from start to end it means my, this is the best way to controlling these kind of profile because my tool will be starting with this one and when tool is going to be down 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 so it will controlling like this so this is the best way if you have these kind of profile to controlling my tool now we have to came at the collision control we just say nothing to we have to select we will discuss separately on a specific video for the collision control and now we have to came on a linking parameter now we don't change make any changes with the linking parameter and I just say ok when I just click ok now what is happening my tool path is created now let me simulate this one how it is going to be reacted like this so this is my tool path now as you can see here this is creating a path in a zigzag form and with the help of zigzag form my tool is not going to be properly because this is most of the area is close close area so I can create a spiral kind of tool path this is much better in a finishing also so I have to came in a parameter I have to come in cutting parameter and this is my cutting method I have to select the spiral this is the cutting method and I just say ok so now what is happening my tool path is created and now I have to came and again simulation this tool path now I simulating this tool path but what is the challenge that my tool is created but it's going to be linked when my one pass is completed so now what we have to do we have to make some changes in a linking parameter so my tool will not going to be linked uh, lifting again 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 so I have to came in parameter uh, parameters and for that linking parameter uh, lifting purpose before the solution make for the linking lifting purpose we have to came on a linking and this is the small gap this is the large gap we have to say the uh, small gap area is connecting directly large gap area is also connecting directly and just say ok so now what is happening when my tool path is 
starting from this came to the this one portion and this is connected directly now in a previous what was happening that is we are uh, that parameter was uh, lifting at the link uh, clearance portion so the due to this my tool was each time lifting at the clearance portion so i just say that my tool have to be when my tool path will be going to be end so it will directly connecting to the next path so this is the way we are controlling this one thing now i would like to show you that there is one accident happening right at here i have to came in home and just say analyze tool path i just make a visibility and now as you can see here this is what is happening when my tool is came outside so what what is happening it is going to show a heavy accident right at here so what is the solution for this i have to came on along para with the in a parameter and what the thing that i have to change that is clearance area clearance area means what are the parameters when my tool is going to be entered with the workpiece and came to the after the completing the all passes so we have to make some changes at the clearance portion i have to came here there are different methods are available uh, in a specific video i will cover each and every single parameter for the linking now i just cover these parameter which required to modify to create this one tool path in a proper way so i just like this is in a cylindrical and in a throw i just say user define and just click at here and just say this and click okay so now what is happening my tool is directly connected right at here when it's coming outside tool is entering but what is happening when my tool is trying to entering with the workpiece this is going to be create an accident so we have to make the solution for this is also we have to came on the parameter and we have to make changes at this one portion the rapid distance the entry and the exit i just change the rapid distance is uh, 5 mm or 6 mm i just say okay this is still making accident so what the value this is and this is the value which we are defining right at here 200 mm so we have to came it here and i just say 10 mm so what is happening this the total length will going to be reduces right at here so as you can see here this is my tool path and that tool path is entering at here with the proper way it's cutting my tool path in a good manner and this is my full final finish proper tool path for the along curve so i would like to repeat again so creating a tool path for the along curve what are the parameters we have to make in a proper way so my tool is entering in a proper tool exit in a proper and tool path is also very smooth so for creating these kind of port portion we have to we can choose the along curve tool path we have to came if we have to came in a parameter we have to select a tool proper way we have to came in cutting parameter we have to define a lead lead means uh, a curve which is comes between around uh, inside with the surface we have to define the machining surface all the surfaces where we have to, our tool have to be cutting we will cover in a separate video for all these parameters what is containment containment exit start point in this one we are using the cutting method this is we are choosing spiral you can define the step over portion right at here in the next step we have to came tool axis control with for the tool axis we are using from chain we are controlling uh, from start to end which helps us that over with the curve that my when my tool is cutting the upper portion that is guidance would be this and when it's came to the down 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 so it will come tool axis control is comes down with the respect to the geometry in a collision control we make zero and in a linking parameter we make some modifications like as when my tool path is uh, lifting for the small and large gap i just say that tool can our uh, tool path can linked to the next path directly and this is the all about this creating the along curve tool path so i hope you get idea about that that how you can create the tool path for this one so guys if you want to if you require this kind of tool uh, project to get practice you can join our youtube channel so you will get 
these models also so i hope you get clear for the along curve toolpath so keep learning keep growing see you in the next video bye bye